Shalom, shalom, good morning. Blessings on you on this last day in the month of May. We're so excited uh, to be on today and to share uh, with you uh, this word from this word from the Lord, which is um, given, which we have uh, recorded. And again, our uh, we're on a twenty-one day of focus to uh, Pentecost. Good, good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, and so this morning we are. Uh, we are in day 10 of 21 days to Pentecost. Pentecost is going to uh, take place Sunday, June the 12th. And so uh, the Holy Spirit uh, led us to uh, do these daily emphasis. And we've not been able to be on Periscope every day, but we've got uh, several days and all of our uh, Periscope broadcasts are being uploaded to our YouTube channel, so you can go to YouTube and watch the ones. Uh, I think we've got about maybe five now, and so with this one, it'll be six uploaded and uh, and receive the word of the Lord. But you can also go to our website, creativeawakenings dot uh, us, and you can uh, you can uh, read. Amen. Amen. And I thought I recognized, uh, thank you for joining us this morning, Pastor Brown. Uh, caught your name the other day. And please tell your wife, I enjoyed that message. I, I enjoyed the message that she gave uh, that was that was on, uh, yeah, it was on Periscope. So uh, what a tremendous word. So each day we've been giving a, a prophetic word. And uh, one of the things that I've been experiencing Thank you. Blessings to you, too. And one of the things that I've been experiencing, even this morning as I was in intercession, I, I feel that, that God is building our faith. God is building our faith. We know that Pentecost is the uh, Feast of Harvest. It's the summer feast. And uh, Pentecost, of course, Holy Spirit came upon the 120 and started a worldwide movement that is still producing fruit. But uh, also, uh, <clears throat> agriculturally, Pentecost is the is the summer harvest. So, pro so prophetically and spiritually, we're declaring that Pentecost is going to be a harvest. That that many of us are going to come into harvest. And so, I was praying uh, this morning and just uh, believing God for harvest for His people, for His church, for individuals, for my fam, for my own family. And, and my faith was just being built. And so I believe God is building our uh, faith for harvest this season. Many, many of you have been, you've been laboring, you've been sowing. Matter of fact, let, let me go in and give this word because I'm getting ready to talk about the word. But let me release the word for day 10. All right. You have sown. This is the word. You have sown and labored in many fields. Now is the time to inventory the fields that you have planted seeds. Consider the works of your hands. Record the good seeds you have sown. By the end of this year, new harvest will come forth and you will rejoice. Okay. Very rarely does the Lord give me a time. And I'm very careful about, about giving prophetic words on time because I've had people to prophesy time to me. And when the time came, it didn't come. Not that the word didn't come to pass, but the timing was off. But I did. I heard the Spirit say by the end of this year that new harvest is coming. But uh, so as we're looking to new harvest, as we're we're looking for new harvest to come forth, uh, but we're looking for a, a present day harvest. And I believe that's what this word is speaking to us that there is a that that the Lord wants us to record. God wants us to record. Why is recording where we have sown so important? It's it's important uh, because uh, uh, because when we have the record of the seeds we've sown, then we will be we'll also be able to uh, to know when the harvest is coming according to those seeds. And so many seeds have been sown. You have sown in many fields. The Lord says you have sown in many fields. And now it is time for you to record where you have sown 
because that is also an act. And remember, one of one of our emphasis for this 21 days is these 21 days are going to help us. Blessings to you, uh, Prophet Diana. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, one of the things that God is, is developing in us is a harvest mentality. And so whenever you plant, whenever you sow, you want to you want to record it, not and, and please understand what I'm saying. Recording it is an is an act of faith, not not that you, you got to be telling everything that you sow in every place you sow, but record it as an act of faith so that when the harvest comes, you will be able to identify your harvest uh, according to your seed. Amen. Thank you for. Uh, joining us ready to bowl uh, and so I just I'm gonna we're gonna just pray right now uh, because another emphasis that the Lord has been putting on my heart for this year is uh, is praying uh, in tongues praying in tongues and I want to just encourage you to pray in tongues right now and uh, and let your tongues create uh, heaven because that's what tongues does it releases the culture of heaven into the culture of earth, into our uh, natural state, our natural place, and tongues can literally shift your atmosphere and open the door for God to come in. So let's just take a, um, uh, just a few moments uh, to pray in tongues. And Father, we call forth harvest from the seeds we have sown. We call forth for a right now harvest, God, and you know the harvest that you that you have determined, for you are the Lord of the harvest. Many of us need a harvest of open doors, a harvest of opportunities. Many of us need a harvest of finances. Many of us need a harvest of ideas to take that idea to the next level. Who and I bless, amen, I bless each one of you uh, that, your, that your harvest is coming. I decree and declare that your harvest is coming if the seeds that you have sown have not fallen in hard places, uh, but they have been waiting for your now time. Now is the time for harvest, for now is the time of faith. Faith uh, now, so God give us faith for our harvest to... Uh, to capture and to gather the harvest, to see the harvest, and for the harvest to begin to manifest uh, over these 11 days. And Father, we're not limiting our harvest uh, to, to the calendar that we walk in, but Father, we thank you that we have entered into your season, which is harvest season, and let Pentecost come forth. Let there be a uh, let there be such a release of Holy Spirit. Hold on, my candidate, casa. A release of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will begin to move uh, in us through tongues and through dreams and visions and through prophesying and through new tongues, God, as we're moving into this new season. Uh, new opportunities. Hold on, my kind of, I keep hearing in the spirit new opportunities on the rising for someone. Uh, either you're on the call right now. You're, you're, I mean, you're on the broadcast right now or you're going to watch this over the next 24 hours or you'll be watching this. But I just hear the Lord said, receive the new opportunities that I'm setting before you. New opportunities. God, even I hear the Lord says a new field I'm setting you in. I'm setting you in a new field. And in that new field, uh, you're going to receive the harvest of Ruth, the harvest of Ruth. You need to read Ruth, the book of Ruth. Uh, uh, Ruth, uh, she sold, or rather she labored in Boaz. She labored, shalom to you. Uh, Ruth labored in Boaz field, but received a harvest, and I hear the I hear the Lord saying that 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 someone you're coming into a new field, and there's going to be an acceleration harvest coming to you in that new field. Blessings to you, blessings to you. God bless you. I pray that the Lord is going to bless your day. Listen, we're doing a uh, a webinar, uh, <clears throat> a free webinar on Thursday night. We're doing a, a free webinar on Thursday uh, night 
and uh, and the webinar is is going to be on how to get a breakthrough, the three laws of breakthrough. The webinar is going to follow the the book that we've just recently released. When you sign up for the webinar and you attend the webinar, you'll get a you'll get a copy of that book, a free copy of my uh, of my book, how to get a breakthrough. But we're going to be doing a free seminar, and so you need to uh, you need to connect with me. Uh, I've got the event on my Facebook page, uh, Watch It On Walls International Fellowship, but you can also go to our website, creativeawakenings.us, uh, and just sign in, and when you sign in on the uh, on our, our page, we'll add you to the list, and we'll get you the, the information that you need to be on this webinar. I'm really excited. This is our second webinar. We encountered so much warfare in that first webinar but we're we're believing that uh, the second webinar we're going to be able to do it, and uh, and it's going to be a blessing to you. And I'm also going to be talking about. I heard the Lord say yesterday, and I wrote it to my mailing list. Uh, the Lord said there are three spirits that's keeping my people from breakthrough, and I'm going to be teaching on that, imparting on that those three spirits that's keeping the people of God from breakthrough on Thursday night. So you'll want to be on uh, with us Thursday, June the 2nd. Shalom. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today.